Hey YouTube, my name is Eve Dewey. Please like, share, and subscribe. I wanted to break down this whole Amon Wiggins, Marv Radio, Millie from Marv Radio getting kicked out of the courthouse episode. So, I'm here, and you know me, I like to look at things three, four, five times. And these are my two favorite YouTubers, so I was already on it, and I seen them at the courthouse, chilling, and all that. We, I'm following them on Instagram and everything. So... You know, they have a court reporter that a, a reporter that be out there. Her name is Megan. You know, Megan posted, asked him on about his shoes, which is, you know, and then she took the picture of him. So, Amon is going to tell us how he felt about it. And this is from the episode Amon Wiggins, Malago Grams get kicked out of the courthouse on Amon's um, YouTube. So, go to the channel and watch the whole thing because I'm not going to. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but we're going to play little bits and pieces from there. I'm going to break it down. You know how I like to break things down. Now, let's get into it. Oh, what it, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So, what ended up happening was, um, we were standing outside, and she was like, oh, my God. Look, at, I like your shoes. Let me take a picture of your shoes. I thought she was taking a picture of my shoes and just, I don't know, just took the picture. Right. I got a notification because you and I had ended up going to brunch after right. we right. went to brunch mm -hmm. and we were just kind of chilling drinking um having some ceviche and some yeah. artichokes or what was it what is that the Brussels Brussels that, sprouts. Brussels sprouts. that was yes. and that, that was that was some good, good Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts I love a good Brussels sprout that was some good Brussels sprouts and it was a vibe too the drinks were good the ceviche was everything was good it was nice it was a vibe how we vibe? was chilling and we was we and we really had some oh we was getting deep like we was talking right um about court and not about court so we was really chilling right so then i get this email and i'm like oh my god i got posted and so it said it read per the usual the hearing devil as an epic fashion show here's our mom wiggins with those gucci shoes now before millie tell you how she felt because i'm gonna tell you this this is why i fucks with millie from mob radio I felt the energy on the post when she said, per usual, I was already done then. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because we seen the shade that she threw at them the last court trial when we all was, you know, and everybody was down there at the courthouse and everything. We already was, we already know how Megan is. She's nice, nasty. She gives off nice, nasty. Okay. Per usual, the hearing doubled as an epic fashion show. So, you mad because black people showed up looking good? And and I don't want to hear, oh Eve, this is not a black and white thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If y'all go in the crates and look at all my old reviews of Malagra Grams and everybody that was at the courthouse, it's always been a black and white situation. And in this episode of Amon with Millie, Last night, they said that the courthouse again, this time around, was divided with blacks on one side and whites on another. And that was the, that's the same way how Millie described it the last time. Even Mo from Lawyer from Workers, he described it as the same thing. So, yeah, let's get back into her tweet about Amar Wiggins wearing his Gucci shoes. Okay. You know me. I, I'm going to start from... Per usual, I'm already done with the... I, I didn't even want to look at it no more when she said per usual. Because y'all got to remember, if y'all go dig into the archives, I'm going to start reposting those old sh episodes, some of these old episodes that I'm talking about. When EJ came to the courthouse, it was they was like, oh, it was a fashion show. It was a fashion show because he came in there all dressed down. Da -da 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 -da. It's a fashion show. First of all... I don't understand how they expect for black people to show up to court. If that's one thing we getting dressed up for, it's some court. We're going to be dressed down to the nines for court, okay? Now, my thing is, Millie and Amarn is court figures. I don't, I mean it's public figures. So I don't understand how she thought that they, that they was dressed messed up matter of fact 
Let's get into how she thought that because let's go see how Megan was dressed up because I'm with the shits tonight. Listen, Megan, you don't dress all that fly and this is why you feel like they dress better than you. So you want to start pick, 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 picking. But see, here's the thing about posting stuff. You posted a Mars picture and it should backfire on you. But let's go to how she was dressed real quick. Let's go. That's Megan right there. That's her right there with the with the jeans on, with the limp. You know, Megan with the slow bop. That's Megan. That that's Megan, y'all. That's Megan with the slow bop. That's Megan right there with the slow bop. Megan, leave them alone, Megan. Ain't she trying to ask questions? Ain't that what she's trying to do? If that it looked like she's trying to ask questions to me. I'm just saying. Megan with the slow bop is mad because she came in with her little, her little church shoes and her little Jordash jeans. I don't even know if those are Jordash jeans. I, those look like some Eagles or something like that. Maybe those are Eagles because they're definitely not Levi's. We're not going to do that to Levi. Those are what? what? What are those? Yeah, let's see what those are. Let's get. Oh, those look like slacks maybe. They're very baggy. They're sagging. I don't even know why Megan is sagging. She's a female. But anyway, Megan is sagging at the courthouse. This is why she was like, oh, it's a fashion show when she seen Amar Wiggins and Milago Grams. Because, you know, they was dressed. And she was not. As you can see, this is her trying to ask questions. But maybe if she was dressed a little bit more, you know, with a little, like she cared about herself, maybe they would have answered her questions. Because you can clearly see that, you know, that she is... Trying to ask questions and they are answering. Let's turn up the value. Look at her little limp. Look at her limp. Is she not wearing the belt today? Look at how he is. It's not a silky, it's not a silk press or nothing. So you can already see why Megan was upset about Amon's Gucci shoes to the point where she had to tweet about it. But the tweet backfired. So let's listen in to what else Simone had to say. And I just read it. And I didn't I didn't think nothing of it. And I showed you. And then you, you felt something different. I re we sitting up uh, eating. I'm also, look at this. I look. I said, per the usual, the hearing doubled as an epic fashion show. Here's Armand Wiggins with the Gucci shoes. I immediately said, oh, that bitch nice and nasty. Mm. I said, oh, she thinks she cute? Oh, he said, what you mean? You said, what you mean? I said, do you see what she's saying? I said, you look good. So the compliment is there, and it's deserved. Okay, here's my mom Wiggins with the Gucci shoes. That's cute. But it was the per the usual. So before today, per the usual, something that occurs more than once, the hearing mm -hmm. doubled as an epic fashion show. So now we're making comments about how we're dressed. You wore a suit to court. So now we're making comments about how we're dressed. We have been sitting up here reporting this for how long? We, you didn't get posted with any type of comments on your commentary, but you can get posted for the Gucci shoe. Exactly. Damn did, per the usual, the hearing doubled as an epic fashion. Exactly. He didn't get posted on her Twitter for his work. Oh, he's a good YouTuber X, Y, and Z. No. He got posted because he looked good. Per the usual, because it didn't happen before with EJ. And I believe she said something about EJ and them outfits too. Like I'm trying to tell you, like, and EJ was only there for one day. So she has a problem with the way people are dressed, obviously. Oh. This is a gray suit in a black in a black uh You were dressed appropriately for what we're I'm going to court. You're going what to else? Court. Like, what is how is this a fashion show? I don't understand. I don't Why understand. is it when we do something, it has to double as a fashion show? I don't understand. And then that. he makes us feel like we're doing something extra. What do we that and basically saying this is all y'all can do is come to be seen and look cute and that's it and that's why she didn't report about how great their YouTube channels are. No, she didn't report about how he's on YouTube and Instagram. Go follow him. She didn't say none of that. She reported on his Gucci shoes because we seen what Limp Limp was walking around with. So we already know why she's mad. So I don't even know why they act like they don't know why she's mad. Whew, chat. 
dressed this morning, we got dressed this morning. But now there's something wrong with the way that we dress in. And then, like I said, to not mention the commentary that you're doing, the work that you're doing. Do you see us any other time? Because we be sitting in front of them. So I know you see me. So acknowledge me. And don't acknowledge me for what I got. It just, I didn't like how it made me feel. How about that? And and I want to answer that. Because then I got a text message. Now listen to this, y'all. What did it say? It said, hey, for the record, I'm absolutely not sharing, shaming you. All the drama on here is stupid. I barely know you, and if you shaded me, I haven't seen it. I watched some of your videos and think you're hilarious. And so what ended up happening was, I think... Boom. Boom. So basically, allegedly, she already says she acknowledged him. She already know who he is. She already watched some of his videos. Basically, she already did a whole background check on him because that's what she does. She's a reporter. So she already dug up... She already letting you know from the gate. I already been peeping you. I already watched you. And basically, I got your whole profile. And I know who everybody is and what they do. She already know what it is. Now, keep listening. Someone, well, what really happened is multiple people, black people, our people, your people, my people, mm -hmm. they weren't feeling that. And so, remember, I kept calling. I'm like, girl, wait, you must have. Because I really, it was clicking to me at first. And, and it clicked to you immediately. Husband. They weren't feeling it, but did she take it down? No, they not. She did not take it down. When they were saying the negative things about you, even though she said something positive, when they said something negative, did she remove it? She did not. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. Now, now they were dragging her though over there, dragging her because of what she said, and they didn't. They didn't. They felt like it was an underhanded compliment. So she felt the need to DM me and let me know that it wasn't. I then told her, girl, I let the internet do what the internet is going to do. It's not a big deal. You know, that's rule number one of being a content creator. Stay out of the comments. I said, hell, they dragged me too. I mean, right. just as much as they were dragging her, there was a lot of people dragging me, but they were really dragging her because they were like, it was a backhanded compliment. Right. Yeah, it so, was. That's how I took it. It was over with. But I, I listened to what you said, and everybody on my socials, they kept saying, like, she tried you. She tried you. And you even called it out. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's a gray suit and a turtleneck. Right. And then to even title it like that. And let me tell you this. I'm very shocked that Amarn didn't peek that she tried it. I'm very shocked that Amarn. Amarn, I'm very shocked that you didn't peep game. You usually peep it. You usually peep it. I don't know what she was thinking or what she was thinking about. But she definitely tried you. And for you not to peep that, I'm not going to say you slipping. But she fell that time. Because <laughs> that's crazy how you didn't peep game on that one. It's that underlying kind of racial, like, uh, you know, fashion show. It's kind of like these racial prejudices. Like you, that black like people. Like we do too much. Yes. That's yeah. how it felt. You're too yeah. much. You're too loud. You're too, You're too this, loud. Too that. Right. You came. They come up there. And, and this is no dig on how they want to dress. But they come up there. They as in them. The ones that do not look like us. In jeans, t-shirts, wrinkled, crumpled up. Look like they just woke up and rolled out of bed and came on down there. That's fine if that's what you want to do. But we're not being extra. You know, because we dressed how we decided to dress. And, and we're wearing what we want to wear. Because we didn't walk in and say, you know, oh, look at us. You come and you sit out somewhere. We sign on this, we sit on and we show respect. They literally segregated. There were black people on one side mm. and white people on one side. And it wouldn't be on white. It was media because there's another layer to this whole thing, which is the media aspect and us being new and not getting respect because they feel like we don't deserve the spotlight that we're giving. That we don't deserve to be in a conversation because what? Because we don't answer to such and such, or we don't work for whomever. So they don't know what we went through. So it, this is not just an isolated thing. I feel like it's something that, okay, building up, building up, building up, and all these little snide ass comments are being made, and all this little shit like that. So, and then uh, it was to the point, I, it was to the point, remember, all the white media went over here, and all the black people was over here. And then even the, even the, um, the prosecution, they wouldn't even talk to us. I remember the day that the verdict was to be read. Yes. And Alexander Bach came out 
and they huddled around on the other side and um you know he started speaking with them as soon as the black people started coming over to try to see what was going on he wrapped it up and stopped talking yeah, so yeah. It's, I have felt away, and I'm not, you know, I can't put no name on and say a person is prejudiced. Courtroom 132, which is on the 15th floor, mm -hmm. that's where the trial is. Courtroom 132, there's signs plastered everywhere. No recording, no pictures, no nothing, right? Mm -hmm. We, at this point, court is over. Lawyers, everybody's gone. They're walking out. We are downstairs in the lobby of the courthouse. On the first floor. On the first floor. Where the elevators are. By the, it was two by guards it. there. Exactly. They're exactly. literally in the exit where the where the paparazzi mm -hmm. there are. We're sitting there. I record there all the time. Been doing it. One of my most viral videos started over there. I've been in that space. Okay. No one ever said a word. It, it's guards all over there. It's the lobby. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but guards. Okay. And so it, it, we're, we're down there waiting for the family. Okay. I'm going to show you the two videos. I'm gonna show you these two videos um, that that got pulled um, this morning because because everybody has to understand we're in the same boat, but we got there by two different means. Yes. So what the issue is for us is different, and people yes. are kind of saying this is why they did this. I bet one of them got the other one kicked out. No, no, no. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. Um, hold on, how do I do this? Uh, okay, so look. So boom. This is the first video. How do we feel like round two will go? How do we feel like round two? Are we confident? You feel like Jesus is still going. You guys want to feel like them shoes is nice, though. <laughs> Malagro, and while I'm playing these videos, I don't know if you have your phone, do you have that letter with the requirement with the do's and don'ts, I have it, but do you want to read it? Because I know you know how to read it. Uh, Let's keep send... it. Okay, but hold on, I'm gonna play, just pull it up and be prepared to play it. Right. And then I want to drop a, I want to drop some tea on my Twitter once we're done with these two, with these two. Now, Amon videos was pulled, right? This video and another video. The video that I showed you that Megan was in, I believe that's the one that got pulled. Him and Millie both got emails. Millie is going to read one of her emails. And this is why they got kicked out of the courthouse. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. Don't you put me requirements get bigger every day. With up to 2,500. Yeah, so... Is, and then I have to play uh, Milagro. I have to play what got these two videos and my YouTube video were were filed in a complaint, okay? <laughs> and has got me removed and kicked out from being media. My right. media badge <laughs> has been removed. It's important. Media. My media, media badge has been revoked, okay? I'm going to post this on my community tab right now. If you are on my community tab. So, they got, you see, in the picture with Amarn, when I'm showing him, he has this green tag on. So, basically, both him and Mar Malago Grams, Millie, Mob Radio, and Amarn Wiggins got their media cards revoked from them. They have to give them back. They are no longer considered as media. Now, the public, anybody can go to anybody's court proceedings. So they can still go to the court proceedings. They not down and out in this. All y'all did was put, uh, to me, all they did was put a light on them now. If it wasn't a light on Millie and Amon before, all they did was, all she did was help shine a light on them. That's all she did. Sure. If you didn't want them to have no light, baby, you should have never reposted them on in his shoes. That's the way I. That's the way I'm seeing this. Please visit my community tab. Please visit my Twitter. It's gonna get here really quickly. Okay. It's important that you see this because in the rules, there's something stated here. 
Now, but before we get to that, we also have to get to Milano Graham. Okay. Because there was something that was... So, but before you play, let me say... Okay, okay. The picture that y'all need to go take a look at, and this video okay. right here, I did highlight. I, did, I didn't take it. I didn't take the photo. I didn't take the video. But I did go on Instagram Live, and I talked about it. And I talked about her like a doll. Because that's what I felt like goddamn doing. Because she gets on my fucking nerves. And so I pulled up the picture, and I pulled up the video. We discussed it. We kikied about it, and we kept it pushing. And so that was out in the atmosphere. Okay, I get my email, and they let me know, bitch, give the green pass back. Yo ass ain't coming up in this courtroom. Bitch, I bet somebody bust a nut when they type that shit up to me. Because they've been trying to get my black ass out of us since day one. Your media pass has been revoked. Media. Media. And, okay, you know, you can't come to the future proceedings and do a best media. And da da da. So this is what I said in the video. This two minute and 30 second video is what got me booted, bitch. Booted. This is what got her booted right, from the courthouse. Same spot as I was. Yes. Where, that, where she was sitting. And on her other computer. paparazzi. Crazy. Those paparazzi sitting at the end waiting as well with their cameras up. Yes. We gotta be quick, okay? So, I'm gonna start talking because I don't know what we are. Just gonna hang up. No answer today. Um, Tour side, one more time. Which ain't necessarily a bad thing, it's just a waste of time on everybody else we have. You know, everybody who came out that was hoping for an answer, hoping for some type of resolution today, it's not giving re it's not giving resolution today. So they said Monday, come back, um, so we can go over these things. Let me tell y'all something that was said that I did not like. I'm sitting in the courthouse, in the, in the courtroom, and I'm on the first aisle, and, and um, Alexander Bott, the DA, he was like, to Kathy Tom, I don't see Megan. I don't see Megan. Megan Cuniclus sitting right behind me. I turn around, I say, here go your friend Megan, right here. And I had to move out the way so he could see her. And he was smirking me and smile, and turn around to Kathy. Yeah, bitch, what you looking for her for? What you looking for her for? Hmm. So anyway, yeah, don't do it next Monday. So this was literally a fucking waste. But hopefully, like I said, you don't know. They, we'll talk about it. How about that? We'll talk about it. Because it really can be a really good thing because a lot of people feel like some things needed to be added. You don't know what they have in the back, you know, if they want to pull out. Um, anything. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Let me go because um, I'm waiting on them to come downstairs. And um, yeah, that's that. My lipstick, look, I hate when it does this shit. That's why I'm talking like this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna call y'all back when I get situated. But that just annoys me. Somebody said you staying all week. For what? People be having a fucking life. Ain't nobody trying to drive sit up in the life in a fucking week. Just cause. You know it's like, ugh. So I'm gonna call y'all back. Um, okay. Okay. And we're gonna give y'all face on fix my looks. And shout out to baby girl. When I come back, I'm gonna tell y'all who be in my makeup. Okay? They got the paparazzi literally looking through the windows, cupping their hands. They're just trying to see something, so yeah. All right, you guys. I'm going to call you back, okay? I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on, okay? Okay, all right, bye. So that's what did it. That's and, what did it, bitch. And that's what got you kicked. That's what got me kicked. That's what they cited. Okay, so, okay. so can you, you go through, can you go, can you go through? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So... Um, they had sent out an email and a little writing, it says, laptops are not permitted. And it says the use of cell phones is strictly prohibited. Cell phones must be off and kept out of sight while in the courtroom. Now, this is what was interesting because the courtroom, per the law that they cited, said the courtroom, outside the courtroom, the courthouse, which is why me filming on the first floor was an issue. But there were people upstairs on laptops and their phones on the 15th floor as well. If the first floor is an issue, then the 15th floor ought to be a goddamn issue as well. And so it says, interviews and live shots must be done outside of the courthouse in an area 
that does not block any entrances to the courthouse or on the 12th floor in the media area. Now, what's important about this is it's not wrong to record on the first floor, but per the rules of the courtroom during this case, they didn't, they didn't want anybody recording on the first floor. Now, who in the fuck was supposed to know that? I literally asked before I did anything, and they said it was okay. And that was one time that was updated. That wasn't what it was even last so year. Right. That wasn't it. That yeah. So it was something that was updated, added, and whoop de whoop. So per the rules, yes, I broke the rule. And per the rules, yeah. On a technicality, they, on we a broke technicality, the rule. That we, we broke the rule. They wanted to do anyway. We broke the rule. They so so that's fine. That's fine. But. It was important for you to see that video. Did she look like she was trying to get an interview with those no. with those two? She did. She looked like she was oh, trying wait, to get. Oh wait, I thought you were talking about me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No. Did yeah. that journalist look like she was trying to get a statement from Tory Lanez's lawyers walking out? Do you want yes. me to play the video again? She looked like she was trying to get an interview from them. And for that picture that was posted on my in, on, on my Twitter and on my um on my community page, it's important to know. This woman was standing, sitting right next to me on her laptop. And can you read that small print again? Can you read it again? It says laptops are not permitted. So if we have to honor the... My sister's murder was headline news for years. Point blank is they broke the law. They broke the rules. And then they flipped it back on Milagros and them. Milagros and Amar, they caught them on a technicality, saying that they can't use cameras and laptops and this and this and that. But yet, you got Megan trying to, first of all, get an interview from the, um, from the lawyers. Then you got her on her laptop, and that was the problem. She was on her laptop, too. But because Amar Wiggins and Milagros is so close to the family and they was answering all their questions and recorded in the same spot. That's why I felt like she's the one that got them kicked out of the courtroom. And I'm talking about Megan. I feel like Megan is the one that got them and I'm not talking about Megan, Megan the Stallion, y'all. The Megan the reporter. I believe she was the one that got them kicked out of the courthouse in the first place because she did not want them there. That's why she posted about Amarin's shoes. But Amarin didn't catch on until Millie was like, yo, she trying to throw shots at you. Like, first of all, like I said, for Amarin to not realize that that lady was trying to throw shots at him is crazy. Now, let me tell you how she got y'all. She took a picture of your shoes, she posted it. That was already shade. That was strike one. Then she seen y'all trying to She's seen y'all doing interviews with the father and them. She can't get that close to them. They already know what she's about. They're not even trying to talk to her, but they're talking to y'all. That's the problem. She's like, too. Y'all have y'all too connected with the family. Then on top of that, y'all look good as black people. She's like, three. She don't like that. Then y'all on YouTube. Then I'm going to speed it up to where Marn is going to say that she asked them about the YouTube page. Let's get to that part. don't recommend filming in the courthouse, they seriously might ban you from the next hearing. Seriously, I saw this like, you should delete that video right now and anything else from inside the courthouse unless you want LA Superior Court to be pissed. They are ruthless about this stuff and they will seriously ban you from the next hearing. Now, what are the odds that she would take issue with something? And say what she said, and then everything happened. Right, but you know what? You know what happened was. What? I. Okay, I think the people, black people, our people, started dragging her by her back in her clothes because they felt a way again about oh. that post that she did about me in the Gucci shoes, and they said, "Oh, that's how she looks." That's why she was talking about you. So they were in her mentions, dragging her in the comments and, and on her appearance. <laughs> we cannot control social media. I don't even have a Twitter right now. And you didn't say anything negative when you posted the video. And I felt like it was centered around her trying to get some information, the person in the background saying, Megan, leave him alone. It was the whole scenario. So I don't think anybody was trying to harass her or anything like that. 
Um, you were doing, I feel like, what everybody else was doing. And I understand the rules and everything, but yeah, I feel like that's what was happening. And so, mm -mm, I, I wasn't feeling that shit. And all. so, so she got mad because, um, she was getting dragged and she wanted me to take yeah. the video down. That's, I mean, if you really want to know the truth, people were making fun of her mm -hmm. because the way she looked right. and she wanted me to take the video down. And I said, well, wait, who are you talking to? First of all, don't ever come at me like, like that. We didn't do anything. I was recording what was said. I didn't tell them to say or do anything. Right. You have lost your mind, woman, calling me mean and petty. This was not a group effort. However, right. I know because we are black, you assume we are all somehow together, but I'm my own person. I didn't intentionally record this to be malicious in any way. I was gathering content just like you. What's crazy is you give me some backhanded compliment about my outfit, but to only come across like I was only there for a fashion show, but never mention my work, but somehow I was able to not call you mean and petty or anything like that. But right. instead of contacting me, you assumed that I was attacking you for some reason. Mind you. And we were why did she too. get to be the victim when you just got posted and they dragged you? She didn't take it down. So she, she said, says, I'm with Millie. First of all, you posted him on first, right? They was dragging him, dragging him. You still got the post up. You still, even when they started dragging you about the comment and about the post that you made with the Gucci shoes and all that, you still left that up. But now because Amarn had video of you and the way that you look and you're getting dragged, you got have, you email him or DM him and say, oh, I suggest you take that down. That's in the courthouse. They really don't allow that. This is that in the third. Now she acting like she looking out for him, but on the back end, she spent the round, I think reported them to the courthouse. Oh, they have a video up of me, X, Y, and Z. It's in the courthouse. I think they should be thrown out. That's all she got to say. She's a face that they always see. You see how the lawyers was looking for her? The lawyers that's not on, um, Tory Lanez and them side, the state and all that. You see, they, they was looking for a DA and all them. They was looking for her. They wasn't looking for, and, and, and so Millie moved to the side the way she said she did. They didn't even see her in the courthouse. That's how, that's how crazy it is. How you not see her in the courthouse until Millie move over and say she right here. And then all of a sudden you want to give a little smirk. And why is you, I'm with Millie. Why was you looking for her? Why was you looking for Megan? For Megan can report what y'all want her to report? So now they feel like they got the two people that's in, influen, influential in the YouTube space and have big media behind them. Here's the thing. I don't have to come as media. I can come as Amon Wiggins and Milagro Grams as the public and still be there on time. I will still be there on time, still look fashionable. And, yeah, and, and that's to show her you didn't do nothing. But let's keep listening. She said, sorry for coming across like that. Definitely didn't mean to. I really did just like your shoes. And I appreciate you didn't post that maliciously. Honestly, the harassment here is just a little much. All the comments on your post, etc. I mean, of course, I see them. And who would like reading that? But I do appreciate you. And you're not the one who said it. So again, she's mad at the comments. And she says, it really bothers me. There are some things that go better together. We're going to But I try to be aware, but of course I have biases that may I may not realize. Oh, okay. Don't do. And then she started talking about how the people are dragging her, how people are calling her cockeyed, mm -hmm. and how people are making fun of her. Well, you know, that's not that's not in your control. And I felt like the recording and shit, when she took your picture and pulled her phone out, I felt like at least between the two of you, that door was open. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I don't speak to her. I don't talk to her. I don't film her. I've never taken a picture of her, recorded her. I stay away from her. Why would I antagonize that woman? So can we get into the shit that she was posting on Twitter that I felt like was her antagonizing the black people at the courthouse? She's sitting up here goddamn tweeting, talking about, I guess the smack talk stays on the internet. Because mm. nobody sees nothing. Let me, I want to read it verbatim. Because I was very perplexed. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all, let me get this for you right quick. 
And people thought she was shading me, but I had been threatening her, so there was nothing for me to do when I saw her. I won't put my hands on you, huh? So one moment, people, let me find it. Honestly, guys, while she's looking for that, yeah, on a technicality, you got us. Now, she said she didn't report it. She said there were six, there's six people that work for the courts. Here's what I find interesting. My two Twitter posts got reported and my YouTube video got reported. Me and her were having conversations last night. We even talked about going to lunch, okay? I thought everything was cool. I told her about my YouTube channel. I said, I didn't even defended you in my YouTube video. We're good. One of those videos were also posted on my Instagram. The Instagram was not in the complaint because I never mentioned Instagram and me and her never had a conversation on Instagram. Mm -hmm. so, That's interesting. There. Why Why didn't they pull that from Instagram, but they pulled Milagro's Instagram? And let's talk about it. Her response was, they're so dedicated and working around the clock to find everything. So why is it just this and this and this and just this? The question is, why, why didn't they cite the Instagram post? Because y'all actually know about it. Huh. Uh, uh, seemed like to me, and y'all wouldn't know. I don't know who did what. But it seemed like right. to me because you didn't know about it. It wasn't cited. You guys, I don't have the tweet right here, but y'all can go to her page. And what it said was something to the effect of, I guess that that smack talk is reserved for the internet because nothing is happening in person. I felt, uh, I felt like that was ridiculous because I felt like that was her antagonizing people. Why would you invite that type of energy? Why would you even put anybody in the mind frame of coming to say something cross to you or to do anything? Smack talk. People having their opinions about you. She smack talking to do what she did any goddamn way. Now, she's saying that she didn't report y'all shit, but I believe that she reported them. I believe she reported them. And her opening was taking a picture of Amon's shoes. And and posting it. But because Amar didn't catch on to it because she really wanted him to go off from there. But because Amar didn't catch on to it, it fucked her head up. Because at that point, she was already setting Amar up to say something to her. She wanted Amar to say something to her for she can really be played a Karen in the courthouse. Oh, he said something to me and he's harassing me. She wanted Amar to say something about the tweet, about the shoes. But Amar and Millie, he didn't show Millie until they got to brunch or whatever. So she, he didn't even catch on to the shit. And it fucked her up. So while everybody's outside and they come back, all this is happening after the break or whatever. But my thing is, that's what she wanted. She wanted him to go off from there. But it didn't happen. So when they started filming, that's where she got him at. When she when he posted that video of her from the back looking like that, that's what set the trigger. Oh, y'all posted? Oh, this is a video. She act like she was telling him to take it down, take it down. And, oh, you're going to get in trouble, and this and this and that and the third. Meanwhile, she's DMing him that on the way to report for she can get him in trouble, y'all. Yeah, listen, it gets deep. Let's keep listening. Not liking you. We That's what social media is, us being social. But once again, I feel like these are things to try to trick us out of our positions, to get us to act a fool, act up and engage, so she can do what she ultimately did from jump, which was... Exactly. And she did exactly what she wanted to do, but she needed to bait them in there and she didn't know how to get them. So when he posted the video and set a trigger off in her that he did not take it down and it was like, oh, you're not going to take it down. Oh, all right. I'm going to go and report y'all. But even though she was going to do that anyway, but she was trying to figure out how she was going to do it. She didn't bait with Amar. She didn't bait Amar with that photo of him and it triggered, it backfired on her. So now I'm going to get him like this. And it didn't, it worked. It worked. She tricked y'all out your spot. That's all I'm going to say about that. Be victim. Because you're so mean and petty. What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? That was and, I wanna, and, and, and I want to say this because I think people, we don't know if she did. I'm not saying she did. I'm just saying there's coincidences. Well, she told me this would happen. Then this happened. She complained about these videos. I have been making these videos forever since I started the case. 
Now all of a sudden, because she's getting dragged in the comments, we are no longer there as media. And that's why I mentioned that I did discuss her on Instagram Live because I felt like she did not like being talked about. So she couldn't get me on talking about her because I didn't take that picture of stupid ass. But she could, they could go and find, oh, well, she was on the first floor recording. Mm. I, I, who else got kicked out but me and you? Who, who else brought light on the videos? And then, and then uh -huh. this said same person went and started posting, like, in a posting that LA Superior, what was the tweet that she was posting earlier today about they're getting tired of it, or I guess the, the court is at the point now where they're they're kicking, the one that went viral had everybody talking. Yeah, yeah, let me go get it. Because she was very active on Twitter. It seemed like she was relishing in what was going on to me. Yeah. Shop smart and save up to 30. She was relishing in what was going on because she the one that made it go on. That, that's why. She was happy that they got kicked out the courthouse. See, I don't have Twitter because it's an evil place. But she was happy that they got kicked out that courthouse because she made it happen. She said she did not report it. And I asked her, well, how is it that she can, how she can sit on her laptop and work down there, but I couldn't. And she said, the picture that you have is illegal. I said, I don't care nothing about that. I didn't take the picture. Okay. But she never, she kept giving me a lawyer's number to call. Um, but she did say that we could go back up there as you know, general okay. public, but our media passes have been revoked. And can we violation. talk about that? There were so many people that were so excited because they thought this was the end for us. Oh, well, y'all, y'all done. Y'all done. Bitch, okay, take the fucking green pass. And I'm going to sign my name and go, they can't keep the public out. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. But this is some, the, the bigger picture was the way they went about it and what they had to do to get us out of there. And you know, Wiley went over there to Station Head and he spoke about it. And you know he was happy, honey. He wanted the people that was happy. I don't know what no other YouTuber had to say about it. But you know, people have a lot to say about these two. Because they feel like, oh, they probably are troublemakers. That's what they probably happen. And you know, people going to talk shit about you. But I'm going to tell you how I really feel on the, about the whole situation. What I feel is, I feel like these two got tricked out of their spot. They got tricked out their spot by a white woman named Megan, okay? Unless of a court reporter, okay? And then she gonna try to flip it and say, oh, I didn't do it. She said she didn't do it. I don't believe her. I don't believe her because the way she likes to play. They only had an action with her. She got the nerve to DM them on and say what they are gonna do. And then it happens and it's like she knows the, the 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 future all of a sudden no she made it happen that's why she was able to say what was going to happen because she was already dming you and making it happen in real life she's dming them dming them on but in front of the people like oh this is what they're doing and i he's harassing me this is this is the the video that he posted to his twitter and yeah and now his people is talking about me and he won't take it down i'm showing it i'm telling you how much you want to bet she showed them oh what amarn said and how it's not his she ain't show that part though how much you want to bet and i i don't believe that she was not the one that did it she did it I, allegedly I'm going to say she did it because I feel like she did it. She was the only interaction that they had there. And she's been trying to get them to say something to her for the longest. That's why she posted them on shoes. And that's just how I feel. Did they get tricked out their spot? Tell me about it in the comments. How you feel? To me, I feel like they got tricked out their spot. I felt like they did not want them to be there. They feel like they're not real media. They feel like they did not... Do what they were supposed to do. They feel like they're there. This is a show and it's a fashion show. They're not taking nothing seriously. They really don't want them to be there. And that's that. That's just how I feel about it, YouTube. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. My name is Eve DeWeave. I gotta go, YouTube. Later.